Welcome, you're watching the morning news on CNN News 18, our top focus. Now, amid Shashi Thur's allegations of favoritism that he made while speaking exclusively to CNN News 18, Congress presidential candidate Malagarjun Karge has now joined the Bharat Joro Yatra. Now, remember, tomorrow is the, today is actually the last day of campaigning for the polls as voting takes place on the 17th. Today, the Yatra has also completed 1,000 kilometers, a big milestone, and a big rally is being planned in Bilari to celebrate. Now, let's listen in to that exclusive chat that we had with Shashi Thruar. There is an uneven level playing ground for you as compared to Dr. Uh, Mr. Kharge. And, uh, and also, the senior leaders are seen uh, biased in your camp campaigning. What do you have to say on this? Look, uh, there's no question that in most states, uh, though not Madhya Pradesh where I was earlier today, but in most states it's true that, um, that the, the uh, senior leaders have rallied behind Mr. Kharge. And, and uh, I don't blame them. Every individual has a right to support whom they want to. But uh, in the process of doing that, um, they've also discouraged other voters from being, uh, from attending my event. There is a, a visible uh, difference between the way in which one candidate is received and treated and where the other candidate is. Now, I don't mind at the end of the day, we both have to turn to the same electorate and we have to get votes from whoever is persuaded by our arguments. I intend to do my best to get the message out to everybody. But there's no question that there are discrepancies in some of the lists. There are some real challenges and problems. So I'm batting on a pitch with very uneven bounds. But since I'm here to play a game, I'm there to play it uh, whatever the conditions of the pitch. As far as I'm concerned, we're all colleagues. We're all working in the same party. And I've often said that whether Mr. Kharge wins or I win, what matters is the victory of the party. The party has to come out of this stronger, refreshed and re-energized. I find, and I've argued for some time now, that internal elections, when they become public as this one has become, undoubtedly have a role in not just galvanizing the workers, but in drawing the interest of the electorate. And that's why I'm saying, listen, the time has come for us to renew our own faith in ourselves, in what we believe, in what we stand for, and in what we have to fight for in our country. We have a very different idea of India from the BJP's. And I think it's important to understand that our vision of an inclusive India uh, is something that we have to put forward with a great deal of conviction. We have to do it in a spirit which indicates that, very frankly, we understand where the internal deficiencies are, we are able to remedy them, we are able to energize our workers and give them a sense of ownership of the party, and with all of that, we are in a position to proceed confidently and courageously in the future. It is also said that it is a contest not against uh, Mr. Kharge, but it is a contest against those uh, who don't want you to win. That's for you to say. As far as I'm concerned, we're all colleagues. We're all working in the same party. And I've often said that whether Mr. Kharge wins or I win, what matters is the victory of the party. The party has to come out of this stronger, refreshed and re-energized. I find, and I've argued for some time now, that internal elections, when they become public as this one has become, undoubtedly have a role in not just galvanizing the workers, but in drawing the interest of the electorate. The amount of interest that you in the media and our voters and the general public have shown in this election in the last couple of weeks is probably greater than the Congress party has received in the last eight years. And that, to my mind, is a tribute to the leadership of the Congress party that had the courage and the imagination to conduct a free and fair election and have done so rather ably and well. My jo candidate bana hu, ye sabhi ne mujhe ek tarah ka protsa de ke unhone mujhe candidate bana. Mera manifesto wahi hai jo Congress ka manifesto pehle tha. जो मेरे ऑर्गेनाइजर्स हैं, जो मेरा प्रचार कर रहे हैं, अगर वो ठीक प्रचार करके लोगों को जमाते हैं, तो क्या मैं ये कहूँ? अरे आप मत बुलाओ किसको भी। But this is the election process. This is we are fighting democratically, and Shashi Tharoor is also my brother. I'm crossing over to our senior editor Pallavi Ghosh to get us more details on this. Uh, Pallavi, while speaking exclusively to CNN News 18, one of the big key takeaways is that Thuru really said that it's a contest not against Kharge, but against those who do not want you to win. 
So essentially, he's again talking about all of the mishaps and allegations of favoritism that he's been alleging over the last couple of days. Um, how is this likely to be? Is, I mean, is it likely that the Congress High Command will respond to these allegations? No, on record, the Congress Party has maintained the line that there's been no preferential treatment. But, you know, I mean, I think Shashi Tharoor's comments, not just to my colleague, Shaurav, but also to when he spoke in a Delhi Congress, is very, very ominous. And it also is going to strengthen those who are cynical about this entire process. That is their preferential treatment. If, in fact, look at a social media timeline, a kind of welcoming message and a preparation for the arrival of Kharge in the Tamil Nadu Congress office, that met with disapproval with the campaign managers of Shashi Tharoor saying that this is not done, this is not acceptable because everyone is same. Both of them are contesting the elections and both of them must be treated equally. And therefore, uh, this kind of a favoritism is going to have an impact on electoral results because the delegates who are going to be voting and 9,000 of them could be influenced by this kind of a change in treatment. What I'm also wondering is with these allegations of favoritism, is this likely to have an impact on the polls that are going to be taking place on the 17th? Well, it's good. I mean, you know, as I said, I mean, the delegates are never told openly that you have to vote for a person, but, you know, they clearly know which way the wind is blowing. And, you know, so the votes may happen accordingly. Monday is when the elections are taking place. So it's quite a possibility. I wouldn't be so surprised. Of course, one doesn't deny the fact that Malika Jun Kharge does have a strong base. He's also senior and therefore he has an edge over the rule. But is there going to be a little bit of a swing in favor of Kharge even above this? Uh, largely because of the kind of a silent messaging going across by many in the Congress party that Kharge is the chosen one. And just to speculate a little more before I also bring in our colleague Saurabh Rathor who is joining us live, I also wanted to ask you one more question, Pallavi. Okay, we seem to have lost that connection. I'm crossing over to Saurabh Rathor who is joining us live. Saurabh, so essentially you were the one that spoke exclusively to Shashi Tharoor. Tell us more about the pointers that we should really focus on in that interview. See, Aisha, uh, what the allegations uh, are, are being made uh, by Sushi Tharoor that he has been neglected by senior leaders of the party, uh, that was clearly visible yesterday uh, uh, when, uh, when Shashi Tharoor arrived at Patna airport. Uh, none of the senior leaders went to receive him. In fact, when he came to the Sadakat Ashram, the historic Sadakat Ashram where the meeting was held, uh, none of the leaders were there too. So, uh, uh, whatever the allegation uh, Shashi Tharoor is making, was uh, clearly, uh, uh, you know, uh, it could be seen there uh, when he arrived and he left uh, Patna in two hours. So uh, at that uh, point of time, no senior leaders from uh, Bihar State uh, Congress was there accompanying him or rather uh, uh, sat uh, with him uh, in any uh, of the officers chamber. So uh, the allegations made by him that uh, he is being neglected, he is not being welcomed or treated well by the senior leaders of the state uh, could be seen yesterday and that was the uh, reason uh, that he he he, uh, he in fact in his interview said that although uh, you know the the ideologies of mr kharge and him were, uh, matched it was the same ideologies that they were carrying but the mode of working uh, in the party were different uh, what he said he said that uh, his mode of uh, working in the party is different than mr kharge and in fact he focused on uh, the uh, re-energizing the workers and uh, more participation of uh, Congress Party workers should be there and uh, he also said that there should be a decentralization in the appointment process of district chiefs uh, which are being elected uh, earlier uh, the the uh, uh, you know Congress high commands were uh, uh, informed about it and they took the decision about uh, the appointments of the district chiefs then uh, Tharoor said that uh, the party needed to renew itself uh, because earlier uh, the the kind of the mode of uh, modus operandi that the uh, party was carrying it used to get the votes uh, but uh, after 2009 uh, it couldn't secure uh, you know a, a, a good uh, vote share so uh, the party